good day. My name is Michael Smickley, and thank you for coming to the show of Everyone's Got a Story, What's Yours? Today we have Tony Goodson here today, and I'm thank you very much for being here. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So the premise behind the show is we've all gone through life. Life has happened to with us. So we've gained knowledge and experiences over our lifetime. Since as we've gone through it, it's kind of mundane to us. But someone else who hears our story may resonate with it, gain uh, inspiration and or hope. So today with Tony, you've gone through a lot in your life. I've known you through business as one of your clients for many years. And I'm looking forward to hearing more about who the man is within the healing place of your business. Mm -hmm. Well, Mike, I tell you, it's, uh, it's been a journey. It's still a long journey. And I'm estimating another 40 years to be around here. Awesome. Uh, God willing. Yes. Um, my story really started in my youth, of course, and just really trying to, to find my life, find my direction. And I grew up in church, and then I joined the military, still trying to, okay, what's the next thing? What am I going to do with myself? And so I found a nice home in the military in the Air Force, and I did that for about 15 years, traveled the world, and then I ended up here in Nebraska. And yes, I ended up getting married a couple of times, uh, and then the, 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 the big change happened when I was working at a church. And I was in the church, and I was really just kind of just, just doing what I do, just church maintenance, and I got tired of it, and I, I just wanted to be happy. Mm -hmm. And so growing up as a, as a believer, I just, I didn't care about anything but pleasing God and wanting to just be happy. Mm -hmm. So I was literally uh, in the sanctuary and I, I wasn't praying. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. cleaning on my hands and knees. And I said, I, I said, well, I'm, I'm done with this. And I, this is what I was doing was something for, you know, some young college kids and I'm a grown man. I'm, 47 at the time. And so I said, you know what? What came to mind was a, a couple of therapist friends of mine who were students at the time. They, they gave me a massage. And, and I reflected back on that. And I thought, well, maybe, maybe I would like doing massage. And I didn't really know anything about it. So I said to myself, I think I would enjoy that. Then I had another thought, but what would I have uh, some issues with working on guys? You know how guys guys are. Yeah. And I said, no, I think I can get over that. And so I joined the school, uh, the Omaha school, and then I literally graduated four months before my the rest of my peers. And right out the gate, I'm I'm loving it. I knew, without a doubt, this is what I was supposed to do. And over the course of a few years, I'm really compiling this, uh, but. Uh, or compacting this, the 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 desire came and left, you know, came back, and I didn't know if I was going to continue doing this until uh, one of the other therapists decided to, uh, you know, work out of her home, and so I was left with trying to make a decision on, okay, do I stay here, take over the place, or do I wait on somebody else to take over or kick me out or whatever? Yeah. So I said, um, actually, it was a little, uh, uh, somebody had a dream about me. That's yeah, it was a cl uh, another massage colleague. Yeah, kind of like a vision aspect. Yes, yeah. So I had known this lady for four years. We had traded massages, mm -hmm. and she says to me, Tony, I had a dream about you. And I said, uh, okay, that's nice. <laughs> so, and she says, no, I, the dream was uh, I dreamt that, this was your place, the, the, the office, the main office, and you were standing behind the counter and you were happy. And I said, okay, that's cool, you know, whatever. And there was like some red things behind you. She says, Tony, you don't understand. I had this dream 15 years ago. I've only been a massage therapist for like 12, 13 years. I didn't even know the woman. Yeah. And I took that as a sign from God to just move forward regardless yeah. Of, of anybody that may be interested in the place. So I wasn't worried and took on a holistic doctor as one of the renters. And so when you're making those transitions, oh, yes. 
you know, it can be scary. Uh, I was very scared, you know, even, you know, straight out of school, you know, you don't really know what's going to happen mm -hmm. unless somebody takes you on, which is actually what, you know, digressing a little bit, that's what happened to me. Somebody took me on at that location that's and cool. they helped me out, you know, to get started. So very cool. Very cool. So, uh, so during that time back in 2015, now this has become my place, mm -hmm. uh, the healing place. And uh, over the course of a few years, again, I just really didn't know if I wanted to keep doing this or, or just pull out. You know, I'd, I'd had physically enough. It was becoming too much. Uh, it is taxing on the body. Yes, you know, it is. Cause, yes, it is. You know, I do trade massages a lot, yeah. but in order to trade, you got to give. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Yes. <laughs> so uh, I, something happened again. I just decided, you know what? I want to build something for my children's children. Mm -hmm. I want to create a business that will continue to grow and make money without me even being there. Yeah. So this is uh, basically a legacy that I'm providing yes. for them. And so I'm paying for it now. Yes. I'm doing everything I can, even with the second location, mm -hmm. uh, offering colon hydrotherapy and I'm renting out the rooms to other therapists, uh, other professionals doing, doing whatever it is they do. Very awesome, yeah. very awesome. So that's my big push now is to move forward and get everything going to where I can, I don't even know if my brain is going to shut off and say, uh, you retire and I'm done because I, I, it doesn't stop. I know, the ideas, <laughs> the businesses don't stop even in my sleep. Mm -hmm. So I have a nonprofit, I have another water bottle business, and there's some other things I probably can't even think of right now just because I'm limited in, in time and in sharing. Well, first I want to say thank you for serving, by the way. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Both in the service of the military, but mainly serving in your purpose. Yes. By serving your purpose, you're able to connect and help more and more people in the communities, not just in the Omaha area, but further along. You have a gift of many aspects as you've grown, and yes, you're like me, we will never stop until we're six feet under. Mm -hmm. We're going to continue to enjoy life by creating and being able to do multiple businesses and helping the communities. That's how we are as we are of service in that direction. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. So you mentioned about you do a nonprofit. Uh, the, uh, the, the Rose of Sharon, uh, basically that one. Uh, my goal was to create a, a, an organization that is a 501c3 and it's uh, to, to have a, a safe house mm -hmm. for sex trafficking victims. Good. I know the numbers are very low in, in providing that kind of an opportunity for those that go through those kinds of traumas. And it's, it, I, I, I may have bit off more than I could chew as far as Possible. putting something uh, massive like a home or whatever together. Yes. Uh, it is 501c3 right now still, yeah. so we're slowly moving forward with trying to get that uh, even more established. We've taken classes at uh, Project Harmony, which Good. is an awesome network for yes. these kinds of uh, services for our community, so. Very cool, yeah. very cool. Yeah. That's definitely needed in the world that we're in. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of people I can get you connected with. I also help out in those different directions so we can get you yeah. more connected in helping others in, that, in this Pain that yeah, that'd be through. awesome. Yeah, thanks, Mike. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, so you're, I, I met you doing at the uh, near the No Name Nutrition at the Healing Place. Was that your original place? Correct. Okay, that's down at Seventy uh, Second and North Blondo. Correct. I'm right. And your new Twenty Thirty North Seventy Second. Okay, and your your new location. I've not been to that one yet. So that one is uh, located uh, right across the street from. Uh, uh, foodies and the T. Smith. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, right across the street. Oh, and if you know where Salt and Spy is, that's a little plug. Right across the parking lot is where the healing place is. Okay, I'll yeah, definitely. The second location, yeah. I'll definitely check that place yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. So what, uh, what inspires and motivates you to be more into who you are and your purposes of life? I would say it's the love of people. You know, uh, I've been to many different lands, 
another short story. You know, please, story. please. Oh, so years ago, there was a, a, a Christian lady that questioned whether or not I was, uh, no, she didn't say it that way. She said, uh, if God said, if God told you to go to some foreign land and be a missionary, she said, what would you do? I said, I ain't going. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and because my mind went to, you know, like Botswana, dodging machetes and, and machine guns, and I just, no, no, no. <laughs> and then I finally gave in, and I said, well, if God said, he, you know, go, I would go, but I'd need some kind of a cup, couple of bricks upside my head, right? Gotcha. I need to know that I know. Yes. yes. So, uh, he, you know, God's kind of funny. He's like the king oh, of yes. comedy. Oh, yes. And so what he did was, I... I went to Belize on a medical mission trip. Interesting. And I found out that I, I, I fell in love with the people. Awesome. Right? Went on another trip somewhere else to, I went to uh, South Africa. Very cool. Not mission work. I yeah. had a sister at the time living there. Cool. And I found out that I fell in love with the people there. Awesome. And I'm discovering that I, I love people. Mm -hmm. You know, as I continue, and this was way before being a massage therapist. Yes. business owner. I wasn't doing any of that. So uh, I have a love for people. When I'm doing something for somebody, it's because I love them. They're my brothers. They're my sisters. Yes. Even if they're my enemy, mm -hmm. I still love them. And so yes. what is love? Being patient, being kind to them. Love is not jealous. Yes. So yes. this is what helps keep me focused on my goals and to have fun doing it, you know, Put God first. Yes. And then love everybody. Mm -hmm. I definitely agree with that. Yeah. So what is some of you, you're a um, very lear learned man. What are some of the books that you enjoy to be able to be part of your system of who you are? I would say primarily the, the Bible. Yes. Uh, I do listen to some radio shows, not so much uh, reading. There are some books that I've read concerning right. uh, end time prophecies. Okay. Um, uh, also, Think and Grow Rich. Yep, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. Um, another story. I was always investing in something financially. Smart. And I knew a lot about what I thought was a lot about stock trading, foreign currencies, mm -hmm. mutual funds, yep. how to make money work, right? And so there was a day when I was, I couldn't understand why it wasn't working for me. You know, I had gold, silver, all those different things. Mm -hmm. And the circumstances were always buy high, sell low. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ouch. Always, yes, reverse. Wait a minute. <laughs> reverse. And so I was very upset, and I'm crying, whining, literally God, like, why, why, why? Why is this happening when I know all these things? And I heard his voice say, I am your investment. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. very nice. So that shut me up. So, and I was driving. So I'm driving down the road, going down 370, heading west, and uh, I'm going up the hill, I want to get by this car really fast. And at the top of the hill, I'm about to go around this other person. And I heard God's voice say, slow down. Mm -hmm. And I, right away I went with the butts, but, 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 but I gotta, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And then I said, wait a minute, let me just chill. And so I slowed down and there were a couple of cars that went flying past me on the left side. And the county money was at crest of the hill uh -huh. and there you have it I kept going yep. <laughs> they did not <laughs> <laughs> so that taught me t one that taught me God's voice yes and to be patient and invest in him yes so which means I equate to invest in his people mm -hmm. right that means invest in you invest in every soul every person that <coughs> excuse me every person that uh, is uh, in need, you know, yeah. and so that's that's my my end game. I already fell in love with people. Keep the focus on people, not not on me, but and you, build them up. 
everybody in the office, mm -hmm. I build up, I lift them up. Yes. That's my goal. But you also need to have self-love. If since we're made in his image, mm -hmm. we must also take care of ourselves enough because mm -hmm. you can't be there to help others without taking care of the self enough. Yes. I've come a long way. By, with... by loving the self enough, you can love others deeper. Yes, yes, yes. And now taking care of self, that's has a cha is a challenge. Yes, it is. <laughs> For us givers, yes, it is. Yes. Um, I, I, I'm going to start with the body first, physically. Mm -hmm. You know, I've come a long way with, with knowledge and not knowing anything in, in, when it comes to nutrition, uh, massage, and all the other different things that yes. one does. Uh, with energies and frequencies and you name it. Oh yes. Uh, and it's 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 a challenge to incorporate all that. But what works for me is a massage, and mm -hmm. and I'm a glutton for it. I can't help it. Yep. It just is. It, it's good. <laughs> it's good. I know I've uh, over the years from my injuries I've had over the years. Um, there's a friend of mine's sister, and I think it's ninety six, ninety seven had my first massage. Mm -hmm. That actually helped me so I could actually start walking better. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been getting massages every so often. And then recently I had, a few years ago, I had chiropractic care. And then, I've, and then of course the last eight years I've been doing, well, 10 years or so, I've been doing, having energy healing done. And all that stuff has, helps the body and the frequencies of who we are work better. Mm -hmm. If the, a lot of us put ourselves enough in the back seat and not actually driving ourselves to be in the right places, the right timing of life and having the divine work with us as we work within the divine. And there's so much more empowerment of life to have fun with. I agree. Oh, yeah. um, is there any questions I haven't asked that I should have? Ooh. I can't think of any reason. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, uh, wow. You caught me with that one. Well, let's come back to that one. Is there any, uh, we were talking about uh, books and so forth. Are there any podcasters you listen to? Podcasts, yes. Uh, I'm a huge fan of uh, Kat Kerr, K E K A T K E R R. Uh, and her story, basically, she, she talks more about uh, her visitations to, to heaven. So okay. I believe what she believes, and that is God takes her up mm -hmm. wherever she is, takes her and shows her things in heaven. Mm -hmm. And she has a photographic memory, so she comes nice. back, you know, here in her spirit or whatever, yep. and shares these things. She's got two books. I've, I've read both books. Awesome. And, uh, I think thousands of hours on on YouTube and uh, Stephen Katz show. I think that's uh, on Rumble. Okay. Uh, so that's been what has that what has helped me stay focused on eternity. Smart. Yeah. Smart. I'm trying to think of any more questions here. Well, is there anything else you'd like to add? <laughs> this is a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I want uh, to give a shout out to all the people that work at the Healing Place. Uh, they do a range of different things, uh, everything from uh, tattoos to colon hydrotherapy, which is my, my biggest push right now. Cool. I have two therapists that are, are just starting that, and I think that's going to be a big thing. And also, I'm looking at possibly opening up a, a third location. Nice. Yes. Very nice. Very cool. Primarily colon hydrotherapy. Make them, uh, I'm kind of curious, what does that entail? As far as uh, the service or yeah, opening I, up a business? No, the, the service. The I service. Don't think I'm, I'm not sure I'm quite hearing it correctly. Uh, colon hydrotherapy, basically it's a professional irrigation of the entire length of the colon. Ah, okay. Yeah. Which... So basically 80 or roughly 80%, if not more, of the diseases start in your belly and your colon. Interesting. And so this, there's a lot that can be uh, uh, stuck, if you will, mm -hmm. or bound in the colon. The average client carries four to five pounds of waste in them every day. True. And people should be going every, after every meal. 
but not in not mm -hmm. in this country with with our diets and yeah, exposures to various toxins and so forth. But yeah, it's basically a really good uh, a really good flush, and it takes usually several sessions to go the entire length of the colon. Well, it makes sense. I mean, yeah. we unfortunately do not. Um, have the right nutritional balance like we should have in this country. We do a lot of processed foods mm -hmm. and so forth. I mean, if you look at other countries out there, they do are, are definitely ahead of us in many ways. Oh, I would yeah. love to see our country be stronger in that foundation of health and wellness. I agree. So, is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, what's before, our time like? Before we wrap up here. <laughs> we have about uh, a couple more minutes here. A couple more minutes. Uh, my goodness, uh, Mike, I can't think, um, I can't think of one thing. Well, we can do is uh, come back another a few months down the line. That would be awesome. And see how you're at within your businesses. Yes. Maybe that third location. Yes. And see about the projects. I know you and I was talking about different projects earlier about you're working on here. We, we can get together next time to talk about those projects. Okay. And what are those projects? I don't remember. <laughs> Well, we were talking about the nonprofits. You're talking about different things you're working on. On the, uh, my mind's blanking at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, projects. Oh, the the water bottle company. Water bottle and yeah, it's uh, called the uh, EMF Water Company. Basically, that is going to include the frequencies of several minerals, at least about roughly about a hundred mineral or a hundred frequencies. Nice. All of the, the, the basic minerals and electrolytes along with some other positive affirmations Good. and even frequencies of music that help with mm -hmm. DNA repair. Yep. I, I'm very familiar with that stuff. Yeah. So we have a strong residence on that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Well, I want to say thank you for everyone to being out here and thank you, Tony for being here. I'm looking forward to having you back again soon. Do I get to share the phone number? If you wish. <laughs> <laughs> but please do. But we're, we're going to have it connected on your video awesome. for you too. The, the, the name of the place is The Healing Place. The office number is 402-933-0169. Give us a call. Most definitely. Well, I want to say again, thank you for being here on Everyone's Got a Story. What's yours? My name is Michael Smickley. And again, Thank you very much for your time.